Soviets and Soviets, the Red Army, how y'all doing? This is Con Ulrich. I'm Ring Rulululu. And folks, on Tuesday, we're around Slutsk on Thursday. Now we're going to flip Slutsk around the other direction. Rang, who do we have? Left hand side in blue, we have Brigadier General Tur playing as Group Pesluku, and Vincent on the right hand side playing as 44th Infantry Division. Now, it is worth noting, we said this on Tuesday, everybody, that these are maps from the Divisional Disaster Tournament from this past weekend. Uh, so if. These deployments and these unit choices look a little bit crazy. That is exactly why. Like seeing an openings with the you know not 50 mil knee mortars over here on the right hand side. Yeah. Yep, and goddamn, it's uh, that's a lot of mortars coming in. But yeah, but, he, he's a dex which is specifically made to be bad and force your opponent to play the bad deck that you make. Well, you know, and the thing is, the important thing to recall is that they're not bad. They're just made that way. <laughs> uh, and we can see right now, I mean, the funny thing is we saw actually the 50mm mortars on Saturday being used to fantastic effect by certain people, so I don't know if that's going to happen out on this particular replay. Yeah, and when is, how is this set up, you see a lot of people don't take regular infantry, so just against these CQC scrotch, these 50mm mortars just devastate them at long range. And if they can get into position, I mean, that Sapper PPSH blob in the middle could get, could go kaboom. But regrettably, they were not able to suppress them in time. You can see right now that we have like this T-3476 taking out one of the last of those knee mortars. There were six mortars brought in. Two of them are barraging back behind the lines now. But the other other three of the other four are all dead. And most of that right-hand side, Finzent's you know, initial line here, has been completely massacred. Yeah, this is a pretty good push here of the... Or Sapri PPSH on PPSH action here. It's, it's actually getting a little bit even Stevens now. And looking down south, like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty even. Stevens really just a fight full of town, and Brigadier General, it's a town fight, so he's bringing tanks. He certainly is. Now, uh, worth noting that if the guys you do see up those NKVD troops, that legitimately before Saturday, I had constantly forgotten that these guys are basically officers. Um, but that's probably the first time I think we've ever seen them, and I'm going to put this in air quotes competitively. Yeah. <laughs> they're not good. They are not good units, so they're perfect here. Now, there's one more mortar that hasn't been kicked out of its uh, jeep just yet. Uh, and indeed, we're going to see this T-3476. Yep, for the front line the front line is crushed over here. Mm -hmm. um, Tura definitely has Vincent on the back foot. Yeah, Vincent's really going to need a little bit of extra AT. I mean, he does have, he does have CF-3s, which is kind of nice, so he really probably needs enough run set up in the middle to try and blow up some T-34s. Also worth noting, I guess, that we did see that there's an Andre Yusha over here for, I think it was Vincent, wasn't it? Or was it Brigadier yeah. General Tour? I forget. Uh, I, I, think I want to say it was General Tour. General Tour has the Andrusha because it's Vincent's deck. Right. That's always confuses me. And we can see right now, I should probably see the, the Conga line of Dushka's coming in. This was another kind of interesting phenomenon from this past weekend. You would just see five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Dushkas all, and there's like this this merry little convoy coming to the front lines. Oh. And the shocking thing was, is that under the circumstances, they actually worked. <laughs> yeah, against against infantry and like close range fire support, not that bad, but still terrible for its actual intended role of an anti aircraft gun. Now the amusing thing as well now is that um, we have all this swath of infantry coming to the northern town, and regrettably, these mortars are aiming the wrong direction. So they're able to... Oh no. Oh no, this is going to be terrible. These tanks are just going to crush the front line to the south of that town. Uh-oh. Yeah, Brigadier General Tur actually has like, an infantry squad that has more than four people in it. So it's just as a powerhouse on its own. Minister the Strafniki Kamarotti? Yeah. Yep. And that's a good squad for, for being what it is. It certainly is. Now we are going to have... A, this, maybe this T-3476 Hold up its, its opposing compatriots in blue, trying to engage a long distance here, but I do not like the odds. Especially with the third one flanking in from the, from the side here. Let's get in the flank. Where did I get the kill? That's your well, star veteran, she. Yeah, I'm not really sure this is really a, a, a Han Solo moment here. Yep, you never tell him the odds for that very reason. And that mortar park is going to be going down. That would be a huge loss here for Vincent. Vincent finally bringing out the PT asses. He probably could have used them earlier to, to help that northern, northern approach, but... 
Well, you can see right now the Dushkas, despite being able to put out some nice bit of suppression fire, I mean, come on. They're, they're a, a, tr a machine gun on a flatbed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. General Tur has, has too many tanks. Certainly does, and actually, right now, if you look down to the south, not to take away from the action, we have two squads of Klanaya and uh sneaking up behind enemy lines. They're in the town. They technically could hold it, especially considering that their opposing numbers, they outnumber one squad at numbers everyone on the opposite side. But being scouts, they're not meant to hold territory. Yeah. Yeah, so the really a best bet is to try to run around, kill stuff, and then the T-34 and KV down south can secure some territory. Oh, wait, IL-2 with its uh, oh. HE clusters. Oh, yeah. So, for you guys who don't know, the HE cluster bombs are god-awful. They're more than worthless. So, perfect. <laughs> perfect for these matchups, you're right. Yeah. Seriously, we'd see them be dropped in like a blob of dudes and they kill like one guy and suppress them half ray. Well, and that was the thing. I mean, you know, um, you're afraid of giant booms. You're not really afraid of like the little, you know, clippity clop hmm. booms. You, you can manage a lot of small booms, but one big boom is too much boom. Oh, yeah, by all means. Imagine the best the thing that we can say for them is that they were extremely durable, as you can see right here with that yak. Yeah. It was more effective to just use them as a strafing plane with the cannons and the actual bombs. Because the cannons well, the are deadly. True, I so said the amusing thing is that we actually have those uh, those quad um, 762s, the Maxims, the early, uh, oh, yeah. the, Z the ZSU-1 of these. Um, this Lushka could actually be an effective suppression force. We see another column moving in down to the south. Yeah, looking to dominate that town. As a Kalaya Razvedka's do start to take out their opposites of first. Uh, holy crap, uh, like General Tur's really just mopped up that northern side. That is just, that is just nasty. But how is it that Finstan's lines like, crumbled so quickly? I mean, I thought uh, that the 44th Guard Starkovi, I mean, when it, when it dropped, when this game dropped, they were forced to be reckoned with. Yeah, they were very good, but... In this case, uh, Brigadier General has built his deck in a disgusting ray that just doesn't really have a lot in A phase because Vincent is uh, a little bit. I mean, I think it's mainly fo focused for airplanes in the A phase, which doesn't help you secure territory. True. True. But you can see right now that the sheer amount of troops, even, even the recon troops for that matter, but we're seeing almost a push over here to close off that spawn point, which would just be devastating over here to Finson's uh, mm -hmm. attempt at holding. it has got artillery show. He, these guys, they're not to be messed with. You know, they can they can call in artillery if there was any. I see there's some, there's some 82 mils, but they're not going to benefit because those mortars don't have radios. No, they don't. Actually, I'm, I'm more interested in watching what happens as these guys move into this town down to the south. There's one superior uh, PPSH down here. Is he's got three Fausts, so technically he could kill half of his tormentors. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel too great about his odds in any second here. First shot comes up. It does get a freak out here, but yeah. uh, doesn't matter. That's Chris Angel or not here. I don't think he's going to see the light of day. I'm actually quite surprised how long it took to like. At least suppress that squad of what, like, 50 cal fire. I, a bit, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also kind of not. Um, the 12-7, yeah. as, as much as we want to go and say it could be an, a, an effective, effective suppression, when you're matching up against that green cover in the first place and then the second time, I mean, it's just a, it's, it's a single 12-7. Mm -hmm. It's funny, because remember, like, uh, SD-44, like, 50 cal machine guns were scary, scary weapons. Oh, yeah. Here they just feel like slightly larger pea shooters. But I think part of it, too, though, is that the sc the, the scope of SD-44, yes. which is so much more confined. Like, this, mm -hmm. again, too, is it's huge. It's, it's such an incredible amount of area. Even, like, right now between them and the ZSU, it's, what, 700 meters, 800 meters right there? Yeah, in, in larger scale, like, it was, it was 50 cows and not as, as useful. In the middle, we got one Sapri PPS-8 going down to a bunch of officers or oh, NKVDs. Actually, I'm fascinated, I'm fascinated to watch these mortars up to the north start to shell the Maxim Park. Mm -hmm. uh, because being light-skinned vehicles, we actually could see a couple of kills here pretty easily. 
Oh, but they, they start to see it at the last second. Um, what I'm more surprised is, is Finzank going to lose all his flags, or is he going to keep on to that one remaining point? Because if he does lose that flag, I think that'd be the first time we've ever seen someone lose every single every single point. <laughs> it's got 56 seconds for it to happen here, and they need to get more troops that can actually control territory. It'd be super close. I like how uh, behind enemy lines, Finzent has a uh, single uh, Redesca yes. unit. Yes. <laughs> trying to pick off these very slow AA guns. Oh transport. no. Yeah, PE2 going after that one poor T3476. Mm -hmm. You poor, poor SOB. The rocket. Oh, the rockets are not going to. Oh my gosh, it's the Rangu stra uh, method ah! of strafing. There we go. Three until the last second. Oh, is he? I think he's gonna get that flag cone. I, I think, think he is too. I think, I think that's run. why he's with this T thirty four seventy six. Is right yeah. there. He just wants it that last flag. Uh, you, you saw it here, folks. <laughs> you saw it here first. That so, is brutal. Again, let us not go and by all means think that this is reflecting Vincent. Oh. Brigadier General Torch is an absolutely dirty. Dirty deck for this entire tournament. Yeah, I, I would make Rufus Rufus tournament. I mean, player skill matters, but it, the, the big thing is being able to build a bad deck to begin with. And holy, holy crap! I'm, I'm sorry, Vincent. You had to go through that. The man alive. I mean, yes. And the kills page, we had a couple of you know, the ZSU had the most kills for killing three of those Dushkas down to yep. the south. But then that that was it, unfortunately. And on the other side, of course, we have a lot more. In the way of death being dealt. That Strafniki con warranty did like a very good job. Uh, did he? 40 years. Yeah. Oh, did, oh Davidoff? Davidoff? Yes. But folks, let us let us not go and dwell on Fincent's uh defeat, but rather on Tua's victory. Um and I, are we bringing any more of these games, do you think? Uh, we might bring one more on Saturday as they come up. Indeed, folks. So keep an eye out for more of these uh, replays, as of course. Um, if, of course, if you have a replay yourself, you want us to check out, by all means, hit us up on the Discord. I put it over into the Discord channel for SD2. Um, but any final thoughts there, Ryan? We're steady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to wash my mouth up with soap after that entire uh, oh, match right there. Um, but, folks, until next time, then, I'm Con Ulrich. And Rue, take it easy.